And when there's the inevitable sickness and scuffles, it takes up the valuable resources of the emergency services and stops them from dealing with people who really need their help. And that's where this lot come in. The volunteers of the SOS bus in South End in Essex, whose aim is simple. Deal with the effects of antisocial behaviour and keep their town centre safe and clean. They're everyday folk who give up their time to work late into the night on the streets, caring for people who've drunk too much or taken illegal drugs, and then ensuring they'll make it home safely. We've had um, sort of people with long-term alcohol problems come on, people like underage kids who have drank too much come on. We've had people come on trying to hurt themselves, somebody who's hurt somebody else. Absolutely anything. <laughs> And it's not just about caring for people. It's practical things as well, like picking up glass bottles left lying around. Not only to keep the streets clean, of course, but to remove things that could potentially be used as a weapon later in the night. Charlotte's just 21 herself, and one of the younger members of the team. While she's out patrolling the streets, back at the bus is the oldest volunteer, 80-year-old Beryl. I do every Saturday night from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the morning. And I find that the bus is needed very much for the youngsters. They get too drunk and I'm known now as the Vomit Queen because I usually can sober them up so we, they can get them home safe and sound. And we keep them on the bus until either their parents come for them or they're capable to have a taxi home. Beryl's no killjoy. She's got five grandchildren herself and knows how much young people enjoy going out on the town. My grandchildren think that um, I do more nightclubs than they do, <laughs> which is a bit upsetting. <laughs> I love the youngsters, and I'm happy to say the youngsters like me. It's the end of the month and everyone's just been paid, so the town is heaving. And for a lot of people, this is a pretty intimidating scene. A 17-year-old girl has been found on the street and Charlotte, who's training to be a nurse and fellow volunteer Thomas, can see she's taken something she shouldn't have. So what was it that you took? Was it like a pill? It was a little pill, OK. What we're going to do, I think that it's probably going to be best if we give your mum a quick call and ask her to pick you up, no? My friend's picking me up. My your friend's mom. picking you up? She'll tell your mum mom knows that my friend's picking me up. OK, no problem. I'm going to sit back for us, yeah? It's just normal. Mom's number. You're fine, don't worry. Just breathe. You're all right. How old are you? I'm 17. I'm nearly 18. You're nearly 18, OK, no problem. It's my jaw is normal. Yeah, your jaw is absolutely fine. What have you taken? We don't know what you've taken, you darling. If you take drugs, you need to watch what you drink because it can be really, really dangerous if you drink a lot of fluids when you're on drugs, OK? If you need to drink, just little sips of water. Right. No, you're fine. Just sit back and relax. It's all good. I ain't going to your hospital. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Just chill out and we'll sort everything out as we go, OK? Your mum's going to pick you up from there as well. No. You've just got to be... You're only 17. Most of the volunteers are parents or really young. And it's a good mixture as well. It's a good mixture because it, there's, it's all ages and the young ones get on better with the really young. When they get an 18, 19 year old, they'll listen to them a little bit more than so they'd listen to me. I'm Charlotte. All right? You're all right. Come on, darling. I'm going to make your that's, that's, thank you so much for bringing her on. Right, we'll get you in the back. We'll keep her calm. Can you just sit down? I'm not going to die. Yes, I don't want to die. No. Oh, it's all right. Just take some deep breaths. Look at my eyelashes. Well, I'll look after your eyelashes. Why don't you put them in your pocket? Hey, listen, I'm you need to guard my eyelashes for your life. I will guard them in my life, I tell you. Oh, they're eyelashes. All right, come on in. I this responsibility to Beryl. Thank you. Beryl steps in to provide assistance. Now, it may seem odd, but making sure someone's false eyelashes are kept safe is a perfectly normal part of a night on the SOS bus. She'd like to collect them later on. 
So I'm quite happy to look after them, sticking them in an envelope and hope I don't lose them. And don't let us catch you wearing them, Beryl. While Charlotte takes the teenager to hospital, two of the other first aiders, Tom and Sally, are responding to a call from South End CCTV Control Centre. We're going up the high street because there's been reports of a drunken male who is in need of assistance. So instead of them sending out some uniform police officers to go to see to him, we're going to assess him, see if he needs or what help he needs, and hopefully get help for him. The team's work is amazing. By dealing with the low-level problems, they allow the emergency services to concentrate on much more serious cases. When they find the man, Tom and Sally can see he's been in a fight. He's hurt his hand and he has a bloody eye. Can I have a look at your eye, my darling? Just showing the eye. Right. Right. I'm going to show the torture, OK? Follow it that way. Oh. Um, I think, my oh. darling, do you want to come back to our bus? We just so we get a bit more light. Yeah, the we can have and then you can have a bit of coffee and sit on, on our bus in the high street. That's what we're worried about, because if you can't see out of that eye and someone sees you walking along and you're a bit worse to wear, they might start to pick on you. Once they get the man back on the bus, they patch up his hand and decide to drive him to the hospital to get his eye checked out by the doctors. Meanwhile, Charlotte's back from her trip with a 17-year-old girl. It was nice, actually. Um, it was it was a really successful one. One of the bits that really sort of makes the volunteering worthwhile is this girl. She sort of turns to me. She says, "Oh, Charlotte, will you come to hospital with, with me? I really trust you." It just sort of reinforces that actually I really love doing this. It's really nice. Really, really nice. <laughs> Charlotte and the rest of the team have had a good night. They've looked after people, saved the valuable resources of the emergency services and helped keep antisocial behaviour in check for all the residents of South End. Antisocial behaviour is about a lack of human decency and disrespect for people around you. And if someone's way of life is making yours a misery, well, that's about as antisocial. We've got some updates. In South End's SOS bus, volunteer Charlotte is pursuing her nurse's training while still giving up her free time to lend a hand to the worse for wear weekend revellers. All in all, it's been quite successful. I feel like we've kept everybody nice and safe, so I feel like we've done a really good job. 